what you don't see, or maybe what you do see, just what you don't hear right now is the wind noise. I am uh, parked at a place called Mata Gorda, and Mata in Spanish means kill, and Gorda is fat. So, is this a place where I'm gonna lose weight? So, we're gonna take a little walk in a second. Um, probably not gonna talk about it too much because I know some people are adverse to wind noise. Uh, also, just wanted to thank more people joining on Patreon. This is absolutely crazy, blowing my mind, beyond my wild, uh, wildest expectations. Uh, thank you, Lass Schmidt. I think that was pronounced correctly. Or last say. Uh, thank you, Andy Mazzy, and thank you, Chris Lima, for you know joining the family. So uh, let's go take a peek at the Gulf of Mexico for my very first time. This is where I parked. It is at the end of the road in Mata Gorda. They allow free parking for up to 24 hours. Well, I should say free camping. Although. You know, the meter only starts when the meter maid comes by, so there's a good chance that nobody's even noticed me yet. So I might make it two nights. I'm not really sure yet. And sorry, sorry for the wind noise. It's really windy out here. Also, at the end of the uh, parking lot here, there's a, a restroom and all these picnics, uh, picnic tables everywhere, and uh, some nice cool tables over here. Today has been uh, kind of an edit day and also a meal prep day. So these are the white sweet potatoes. I think they're called, considered firm. Over here we got this 99% uh, uh, whoa, it's uh, fogging up a little bit. 99% fat-free turkey. Here's what the um, container looks like. They sell this at HEB and Walmart. And um, I'm gonna be mixing that with some vegetables. Put it into bags and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so well editing videos. I made myself a bunch of uh, meals in advance. Sweet potato, turkey, and uh, vegetables, frozen vegetables. And I think I made about 12. And it cost me about 40 bucks for all this stuff. So 40 bucks, 12 meals, I'll eat three or four a day. So that means I'll have three or four days of meals. All right, it is time to hit the road. A couple things of note, uh, one, I don't know if this is everywhere along the Gulf, but there's a lot of trash down here, uh, down by the beach. Uh, it's not really all that hard to pick up your trash, as you guys know. So, uh, maybe they're just in need of beach cleanup or something. I, I have no idea, but there was, instead of like a high tide line, there was almost like a high trash line. And also, it is a muggy, moist, 74% humidity and it's uh, about the same temperature so for me personally that's like sweat weather so uh, I'm very very thankful that my air conditioning works badge thank you again um, that was very very kind of you to do all the work for me and uh, also teach me a few things nothing I can do about mother nature but I'm on Galveston Island and I stopped for a uh, 
An interesting roadside attraction. This is called an oil tank house. Some people say it was made out of a water tank. To me, it doesn't really matter. It's some kind of tank. We'll just call it the tank house. Make everybody happy. So, this is clearly boarded up. Definitely no longer in use. But, uh, what is that, a beer can in the window? <laughs> but a really cool spot, and it is uh, right on the main drag here. It's uh, right on this main uh, stretch of road here that goes parallel with the coast. I was going to say north, south, east, west, but I think we're at a kind of tilt. Northwest, south, east, south, west, north. Anyways, you get what I'm saying. But, um, you know, if you're into oddities on roadside attractions, definitely worth a stop. I don't really know much about alligators, and I don't know if this is alligator country, but I saw something large jump into the drain over here, and, uh, yeah, I don't know. But, could be. <laughs> I hope to see some alligators further along in the trip in uh, a week or so when I get over to Florida. Well, I think I made it to Galveston. And uh, like I said before, <laughs> the uh, Gulf of Mexico is a little anticlimactic to me. But that's because I'm from Southern California. It is a, as I said before, a very windy day out here. Uh, does not look enticing to go for a surf. I do have my surfboard in the back. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna skip out on that one. Would be a good day for some, uh, what is it called, kiteboarding or windsurfing or something like that, something with the wind. Alright, so I don't really know where I'm going. <laughs> That's nothing new. I'm going to head towards Louisiana and possibly cross into Louisiana uh, by tonight. If not, I'll be on the Texas side and then cross in tomorrow. Um, and then of course I'll try and catch up on uh, some edits and things tonight and also do a little bit of uh, homework as to where I should be going on my way east over there. Mm -hmm. 